Hey, Doc Robin here. Welcome to your weekly weather report. If you are with me live, I'd love to hear from you. Say hello in the comments. If you're watching the replay, let me know that too, so I can say hi back after you, after you watch and I come back and see that you watched. Today is August 8th, 2022. It is the Lions Gate. And for those of you who don't know or who are just meeting me, I'll just share a couple of things as we get started today. One is that I spent a lot of my career as a psychologist, uh, but I'm also a clear channel. I have been since I, I was a little kid. And recently, I've just been guided to share more and more conscious information that's channeled from my non-physical guides, including the ones who I'm going to be working with today during our time together. Uh, the way it works is that I have, I'm strongly clairaudient and my guides speak to me. And then I just share with you the messages that they, they, they share with me basically. So um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm so happy that you're here. Um, let's see, how do I want to start today? I'm a little nervous. Usually I use cards and I was guided today. Don't use cards. Just listen, just listen and share the information so that we can so that we can really learn from these benevolent beings who are here with us today. So I wrote down a couple of questions that I have for the guides. I'm working today with a group from Sirius, the, the star system Sirius, um, which is highly associated with the Lionsgate 8-8. And um, they actually, I kind of tuned into them this weekend. And so I'm getting to know them. And um, there's one in particular who has come forward who is um, is here with me today. So I'm happy to be able to share this information with you that he provides to us. So I wrote down a couple of questions to ask, ask this guide, and then we will go ahead and see what he has to say. So my first question is, why, the, why is the lion's gate so fascinating to, to humans? Why the lion's gate at all? And, you know, he's reminding me a cup of a couple of things. One is that as humans, we're fascinated by numbers. There's just something very soothing and calming about numbers, especially about multiple uh, the same number multiple times in a row, like eight, eight is an example, or two, two, 22 is another example. These are, these represent portals of energy where people's attention is focused. So think about it, if all of our energy, just like those of you who are on this live with me today, if all of our energy is focused on learning more about 8-8, August 8th at 8.35 Pacific time, if we're, if we're focused on that, all of our attention and energy is focused on this one portal of energy. Now, the reason that I personally love 8-8 is because I love the number eight, I was in high school in 1988. I remember where I was on 8-8, 1988. Maybe you do too, if you're a Gen Xer especially. And um, eight, when you turn it on its side, represents infinity. So it is the number of abundance. And when we calibrate to the number of abundance or when we calibrate to the, the symbol of infinity, which is an eight on its side, we're actually entering in the sacred ebb and flow, the sacred flow of not just our consciousness, but all sorts of abundance, all sorts of abundance. We think as humans, as financial abundance, being a, a key player in our lives, and certainly this is important. In fact, financial abundance is the type of abundance that allows you to influence so much more that's going on in your life. It's, a, it's an expansion energy. And that's the energy for today that they're saying is really important, is the energy of expansion. But it's also taking place during the constellation Leo, the astrological sign Leo. And Leo is a fire sign. So today, and not just today, but this week even, really accessing the energy, the element of fire in everything that you're doing. So you're being encouraged, we're all being encouraged to look at those projects, those things we have going on in our lives that may be feeling a little bit lackluster, or you're maybe a little bit bored with, 
or know you need to get off the back burner and bring back front and center those heart's desires that I've been talking about recently in the actualization accelerator and um, light a fire under them. And you can use this portal to do that. Now, here's the thing that I've always been curious about is that there's so much buildup to a day like this. Everyone, at least in my circles, everyone is excited about it, curious about it. And then on the other side of the day, it kind of starts to fall flat. So I want to ask the guides about that flatness that, that I pick up on, and maybe you do too. And what they're saying is that it's a conscious decision to stay in the energy portal, and it's a conscious decision to keep accessing the energetics that are available on this day for you for practical purposes for practical purposes. So this is not a magical day so much as it just, it's just a day that we can access the energies that are going to be supportive of those goals, dreams, and hearts, desires that we have going forward. So there's a misconception about a day like this that everything is going to change. And indeed, everything can change, certainly in a heartbeat. The 3D world that we're living in takes a little bit longer to for that new reality to coalesce, to come into physical form. So there is a mis, misconception of transformation. We think as humans that this transformation should happen in the blink of an eye, like I dream of genie. But the guides are saying that there is a slowing down of the energetics so that we can keep up with the energies that are being offered and transmitted on this day. So we take, because we're slower moving, we're, we collectively have a slower frequency than the non-physical, we are after all in solid form, um, the energies just take a little bit longer to lock into place and for us to experience the results of that energy locking into place, if that makes sense. So I wanna ask, and by the way, the guides are saying, if you all who are watching live have any questions, just type those in the comments or type any ahas in the comments or anything that you're finding helpful as well so that we can kind of have a conversation with the, the guides during this time. The question that I wanted to ask is, how can we use the energy to accelerate our highest good. And what comes through is pretty simple. It's something that you've heard me talk about before, but it starts with the decision to do so. And it really starts with the perspective that as you make a decision to use this energy, to embody this energy that's available on this day, you're going to be naturally guided to different, de different decisions, a series of different decisions as a result of your initial one. So it's a little bit like a course correction. And maybe that course correction is only a degree or two from where you previously had held your attention. But that degree or two can lead to long-term and lasting trajectory changes that you wouldn't have access to or that wouldn't be available to you had you not made that course correction with your original decision. So your decision is an important piece of the of accessing and allowing this energy to come forward and to support you in your life. Now, the other thing that they want you to know is that this is this is a collaboration. You're not meant to believe that you're being puppeted by energy. And if you are feeling like you're being puppeted or believe that you're being puppeted by energetics outside of yourself, then that is, that is some work that needs to be done internally to bring you back into your sacred autonomy or your sovereignty. This is meant to be helpful and supportive, but is not in any way meant to be puppeting energy. And then let me just tune in here. Is there anything else that we need to know about the weather this week? Just that there's a cascade effect of this energy. So it starts small and it grows larger and larger. It's like they're showing me like a little trickle of water at the top of a mountainside that gradually gathers momentum 
and continues to flow at larger and larger intensities and speeds and rates. And should you make the decision to access and to align with this energy that's coming through today, this is what you can start expecting as you calibrate to the energies to begin with. It's sort of like getting on a uh, white rod, uh, a river that has some white water in it. First, you calibrate just to being on the river. And then as the river gains momentum, you recalibrate so that you can not just tolerate, but thrive in the rapids. And that's really the case with the energies of today is thriving in the rapids. You don't have to be slow anymore. You don't have to hurry either. You can be fast and poised. And that's what this energy is here for is to be is to help you be fast and poised in taking action in the direction of your goals, dreams, and desires. All right, let me see. See if there's anything else that they want me to bring forward. The collective consciousness gets easily distracted after a day like this. And so setting the intention that you won't, won't be distracted, not just from the energetics, but from your goals and dreams, from your heart's desires, setting the intention that even though other people choose to be distracted, even though other people might be vibrating at a lower frequency or not be awake or may not choose to receive this information, you can, you have full autonomy to do so. You can take what lands and leave the rest. You can access your levels of discernment about what makes the most sense for you in this moment. But the encouragement here is to, to use this energy and to contain it. Not to cling to it, but to contain it and let it build up strength and momentum so that you can jet forward so that you can jet forward in your life, in your fulfillment of your goals and dreams, in the actualization of who you are becoming along the way. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the weather report for today at eight, oh, it just turned 845, it was 844 when I said that, that's cool. Um, eight, eight, there you go again. Um, and I'll just say this to close, that today is the last day to join the Actualization Accelerator. It is a 30-day container where we're reigniting your heart's desires. And um, there's training calls, there's bite-sized lessons every single day. You don't have to make big shifts and you don't have to spend a lot of time doing this, but it does, if your goals and dreams are worthy of your focus. And so if that's something that resonates for you, I'm going to drop the link to enroll in the comments. Later this afternoon, I'm actually going to be doing a channeling from the Syrian Council within that, within the Actualization Accelerator that only members of the Accelerator will have access to. So that will be a lot of fun as the, as the guides bring in some big energies and big shifts for everybody who's in that community as well. So if you'd like to join us, you, there's still time to do that. Um, and in the meantime, let me know, what did you take away from today? What was helpful? What was useful? What did you love? I will see you in the actualization zone in the coming days. And I wish you the best day possible today. Happy Lionsgate. <laughs>